Well, welcome back. You would have a very, very hard time finding a group that involves itself in the lives of Detroiters and works harder to bring us all together, creating a true sense of community than Focus Hope. And at the helm of Focus Hope is our special guest today, Father William Cunningham. It is a pleasure to welcome you here in a morning break. Thanks, sir. You know, it's hard to believe Focus Hope's getting ready to mark its 20th anniversary. Yes. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Look at the bags under my eyes. Two <laughs> silver hairs in there, right? Yeah. Father, how do you feel Focus Hope has evolved and developed from, from the founding in 1968 to where we are today? I think the, the, it's, it's been a tenacious thing. Uh, folks have hung on. Almost the original group is all there. Which is and, utterly amazing. Yeah, we have about 550 employees now. And starting with the program of feeding 900 little babies as, a, as an issue, Gosh, sir, we've had last month over 70,000 people. I don't think that a lot of people, you're, you're such a part of the fabric of the community, it, it strikes me that a lot of people don't have really a sense of the broad kind of work that Focus Hope does. <laughs> what are some of the major areas yeah. you're involved in? Uh, major, one, uh, the, our major area is, is industry, is training for uh, jobs of the future, machinist training, and particularly in the new flexible systems. That's our target. And then having a workplace environment we have a number of people in manufacturing now and helping minorities develop business acumen mm -hmm. start new businesses and uh, and all that that requires particularly our center for children i think is an exciting thing because they're the employees can take their children in the morning before work and, and it's a fine development center for little people we've attacked the adc or maintenance kind of programs we have one company which is all uh, mothers from adc so you're really you're working within the system uh, in, in, in some way. Oh, not attacking. No, yeah. I think I think one foot in, one foot out, making changes in, in the system. Uh, call it a lover's quarrel, Cindy. Okay, we will. Uh, because uh, we certainly love the system. We have a lot of differences with the system, and the system has to change, particularly the educational system has to change mm -hmm. uh, for our children. Uh, I think uh, a part of, of the uh, consistency of Focus Hope is its own flexibility, as we see something, it doesn't take a lot of time. We say, oh, I've got to get on that. Then there's a joie de vivre about the group. It's like these two good gentlemen with us today, yeah. I think. That the, the group has maintained over the years that we also need poetry in our lives. We need song and we need, uh, we need some inspiration and vision. It's not and, all frowns and sweat. Yeah, and, and, and vision comes from minstrels. It comes from people who, who take issue in their own way with society, who see things that we don't see and better still can communicate it in mm -hmm. ways that we can't reaches people and so i i'm very, it's just not a seasonal thing with us i'm very heavily dependent on the on the artists of this town and it's it's a peculiar town in that it has probably fostered and fathered and mothered more fine artists than any other place in this country in so many different genres yes now monday and sunday coming up you're going to, it's really a double-edged thing that's happening. You're raising money for a very serious good cause, but boy, there's going to be a, a lot of fun. It's a tradition. The Christmas party's a tradition. The finest Detroit musicians will be there at the Rosedale Park Community Center. Sunday's a sellout. Uh, I'm not saying we'll turn somebody away okay. at the door, but we're packed. And Monday is still, uh, we've got a few, I think even as I speak, mm -hmm. we have a few tickets yet to, Who, to sell. Who's some of the artists involved in the Holiday Music Fest? We know oh gonna... my goodness. We've got uh, the old standbys. I'm, we're not going to talk about our Joe and Joe yet. Because they're coming uh, up. Yeah. Because they're coming <laughs> up. But uh, good people like Ron Coden and Josh White mm -hmm. and Phil Marcus Esser and Barbara Brady and Sophia Barnes, to name a few. Just stalwarts. Yeah. And then we have a new group uh, on Monday, uh, the Sultans. It's a group of uh, older, I shouldn't say older, my goodness, black gentlemen yeah. Yeah. who have a, a, a nice dance routine from the uh, from the early days you know of the of the kind uh, of uh, yeah kind yeah. of like that We're really coming out of black bottom coming out of the old wolverine hotel tradition and uh, uh when we had a different kind of city downtown and where blacks would assemble after they entertained all the good white folks and they come together and themselves and the finest jazz groups and uh, and dancers and singers and they'd go to four or five in the morning six in the morning out of that tradition come the sultans and they're, uh, these gentlemen are really talented, and they're going to be there Monday night, so it's worth coming just to, there we just go. to participate with them. Well, speaking of talented, we've got a couple with us today, don't we? Now, you brought along, basically, to give us a sampling of what uh, kind of music. Borkowski and Rosa Hotsky. Why now? The did I get that jokes, right? We did. And Rosa Standing ovation for that. B and R. <laughs> and you have with us, uh, you're going to give us a sampling. What are you going to do for us? 
first start off with a Christmas song. Oh, please. Get everybody in a mood for the Christmas holiday season. And then we'll probably be doing something from our new album coming out this spring, March of 88, that we're very high on right now. We're very excited right. about that. And you get to see it before VH1. Oh, right. boy. Ah. Eat your heart out, world. Why don't you uh, get uh, the Winter Wonderland is what you're going to be doing for us now? Uh, White Christmas. White Christmas? Yeah, White Christmas. Better yet. Okay. Have at it. Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white Be wise. 